giving it to me again. Come outside, sunshine's on the right. Just, it's a beautiful day, but it's that autumn feel, so I've still got my smoking jacket on. Sitting, chilling. I am dressed and ready for the day. So I'm just having a cigarette coffee break. A real cigarette. One of the brown ones my lover recommended with the licorice paper. It's really rather lovely, darling. On a coffee. I've just had the uh, mental health team on the phone as we continue to report what's going on in the mental health crisis. Are you available to see the doctor tomorrow? I believe you want to see a doctor. Um, no, I'm not tomorrow. I've got an appointment at the job centre and then I've got to go and pick up some food from the homeless place because um, I need some food for the weekend. Well, uh, uh, you did want to see a doctor. No, I don't really want to see a doctor. What I want is for you to tell the truth. I don't need a doctor. I have a shaman doctor who I work with from above who's helping me massively and a GP of the God's Plan. And I have a Chinese doctor who works with me as well from Asia, from Persia, as I call it, but apparently they change the name of it. You just make things up as you go along. Changing names, changing titles, giving titles, taking titles away. Except I'm the undercover boss, so I outrank this doctor that's coming today. So I'm going to look forward to see what he's trying to say. He's going to tell me I need medication because he works for the pharmaceutical company. So he needs me to have medication, otherwise he doesn't have a job. <coughs> so, uh, and neither does the nurse who's phoned me today. So I told her all this. And then she said, well, uh, I, I, she wanted to get a word in. No, it's my turn to speak. So um, then what we're left with is, well, are you free today? Well, yeah, I am free today. Come today on a Thor's Day. I thought, wouldn't dare you. I'd love you to come on my day, Thor's Day. It's electric. It's the boss day. I'm waiting for you. Brilliant. Come to fucking day, Doctor. I would warn you to be very careful what you say because you are in a court of law when you're with me because I'm the judge as well as the victim as well as the witness. In this show, I am the main character. So please feel free to come and visit me today and let me hear what you have to say. I shall really look forward to hearing it. And your excuses of why you think I need to have medication when you've only met me for 10 minutes. <laughs> and read notes that apparently you've lost my medical records though so how they know all this information and how they've got to speak to my mother and father of adoptedness when they don't have their they, who gave them your number where did you get this information from you've broken every rule in your whole book in the last nine weeks every rule i've never known anybody break so many rules in my life and they're your rules And I'm not under a section three, so I don't need to take the medication by law, I can say. No. I might take the tablets off it. See what the side effects are. Normally they have side effects of 101 side effects. You know, this could give you insomnia, constipation, da 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 And then at the very bottom, if you look, if nobody bothers to read to the bottom, it normally says, or oh, instant death. So it covers everything. So if I die off the tablets, then that's okay. That's what they want me to take some medication for, so they can probably kill me off. They're desperate for me to shut the fuck up. I'm not shutting up, mate. I'm going to go on forever. And you can't kill me anyway. And even if I do take the medication, or you insist on giving me a jab of the ass again, I will sue this doctor as well. So another doctor to sue. Because I'm taking down the whole medical field. I'm taking down the whole of the um, pharmaceutical company all by myself with God. Because touch not thy anointed, you've touched me with a jab three times already and you locked me up in 2012 when I said this and I told you about what was going on with everybody and you've denied me of my word and disrespected me. I'm the undercover boss. Have you seen the programme in America? Where he goes in. Told you this before. And um, that's what it's like. I outrank all of you. Highest paid woman on the planet. I will be. When you give me my money back. But you're still trying to play games. How long are you going to go on like this for? 
Is it going to carry on for much longer? Or oh, we're bored of it now. Wait till Sunday. God's day. Sunday is the, is the children's day. Sabbath is Saturday, God's day, and today is my day, Thor's day, so I'm the boss today, so please come into my environment, please come and see me, I can't fucking wait. I'm just enjoying my day off, reading my book about money laundering and a man who was married five times. Four horses, four huntsmen of horsemen. It's very symbolic to my life, really. So this should be interesting. And uh, I'll keep you updated and posted because I've got nothing better to do. This is my God's job. This is what I do. So if I've come into your businesses on, at any time in the last 47 years and you've come across my path, you will be getting your karma. Whether that's good or bad, it's irrelevant to me. How did you treat me? That's what you need to ask yourself, not me. Why is life going tits up for you because of how you treated me? Why is life going well for you because of how you treated me? Because God was, I was the test examiner. And I just came in with love and you were meant to, when I was at my worst, what did you do? Did you help me when I needed help? Did you? Well, then you, if you can put your hand on your heart and say you honestly helped me and didn't lie to me, cheat to me, fuck me, steal me, lie to me, bind me, gag me, do anything spiritually, because as above, so below, now it will be shown below. So everything you've done upstairs will be downstairs and everything downstairs will be upstairs. We're going upstairs, you're going downstairs. Or you're going upstairs and we're going downstairs. Upstairs, downstairs. I just come downstairs to say hello. I don't belong here. I'm done just passing through. I think I need to go to the Bahamas. Or Bali. Or France. Or the Maldives. It's my favourite place. I'm going to the destination of the Maldives. in the Indian Ocean. Not the Pacific Ocean, where the Abe Island is, where Cook's Islands are. I'm not going there. I'm just going to the Maldives Island. I've been waiting since 2004. Oh, there's a little cat at the end of my garden. A little ginger one. Oh, how lovely. I haven't seen her before. Yeah. <laughs> how lovely. We found a black and white one the other day. She was the mama of the cat. She came and sat and stared right into the yard. So if you're running a business, I would advise that you're running it properly. Oh, she's coming back. I hear what you're saying. Word on the street is you're all a little bit worried. Are you? You should be worried. And just don't tell any lies. Do not come into my space and lie to me because I'm, you're all under judgment and I'm calling judgment on every single one of you. I rebuke you all in the name of Jesus Christ. And you do not have the right to give me medication and you do not have the right to jab me up the ass you do not have the right to tell me what to do because i'm in pure sovereignty of my golden era even got gold now varnish on so you're not allowed to do that you're fraudulently you're working for the pharmaceutical company so please know thy place today because I'm not to be messed with today because I'm calm. I'm calmer. Calmer than I've ever been before in my whole life. Happy, calmer, peaceful, sitting in this, basking in the sun, getting my golden rays. With, I've got my glasses on. These are dragon charm glasses. They should be Dulcis and Gabbana, but they're the fake ones, so they're called dragon charm in the year of the dragon. So here am I, just sitting, chilling. Never been more calmer in my life sir so i would advise you're very 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 careful what you do today i will keep 19 9 19 on the clock sunday already every day is a sunday from now on for me ah <sighs> the war is over we're just raw it's been over for a long time i was just working giving you an ofsted report and you've got an ep epic fail an ep What's an EP? I meant EF. Epic, epic phenomenal. <laughs> Epically phenomenal, that's me. You're an EP. I'm an EP, you're an EF. 
I'm phenomenal. You're just, I'm epic and I'm phenomenal. You're just an epic fail. Okay. So, please feel free to do what you want. I'll keep you online for another minute while I lie here in the sun. This is the reaction you're going to get today from me. That's all I've got left to say. It's beautiful out here. If you could feel the sun on my face, it's freezing, it's still cold. I've got the grass cut around. Grass cutter up the arm. <sighs> beautiful. Beautiful day. It's like one of those autumn Sundays. The leaves are starting to fall off the tree, nice and orange like a sacral chakra, pure alignment with uh, ready for making babies. That would really piss you off, wouldn't it? We don't need to make any more babies. We've got babies that need looking after down here already, I think. Why are you not looking after the baby you've got? Why are you watching me online again? Too busy watching me to look after your own children. Wow. What a great parent you are. At least I look after mine. My, my parenting skills are a little bit different to yours. And I do bring up my children slightly differently. I've turned them into warriors. Or warriors, depending on whether they've played me or not. They should be able to look after and defend themselves. And from my culture, where we come from, 13 is the age of initiation to become a warrior. And my daughter's name means... Freedom Warrior. She's not a warrior. She doesn't worry about anything. She's taking on the fucking goddamn world by herself. I left her there as a spy to keep an eye on you. Oh, hello. Oh, another ginger pussy coming in. That'll be the ginger ninjas all gathering together. That's two pussycats while I've been talking. I've only seen one in here the whole time I've lived here. Been here a whole week now. Seven days. Day seven. And three pussies. I'm the fourth. All just in my yard this morning. Crows are quiet. Crow's gone on holiday, I think. He's rested. He's having a day off. There's no murder. You're not going to murder anyone. No one's going to die. You're all going to live to see this and feel it. And smashing egos. So that's nice, isn't it? Beautiful. I'm really pleased to be alive today. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Hallelujah. All glory to the Most High. Ra, Sun God. You can't have life without sun. You need the sun for life. So trying to kill the sun with a candle is never a good idea, really, is it? I would say that's what we call an idiot. An idle idiot. Idle, lazy idiot. You can't even be bothered to cut your own grass paying someone to do it but you know you've got no money to even afford a do our coffee so get your lighters out kids we're gonna light it up today doesn't want to light oh it does just can't see it because the sun's so bright pop goes the weasel anyway enjoy your day i'll keep coming in and annoying you it's my job anointed to annoy anybody you're welcome thank me later